Hey everyone, uh, I want to talk a little bit about a technique here. Many people ask me how I choose how to pick stuff, like if I'm learning a tune or maybe transcribing or improvising. Uh, the truth is that it, it has to do with sound most of the time. And I'm, I'm trying to practice stuff so they are useful in terms of um, the articulation I'm trying to get. So I would practice stuff like... <laughs> When I'm transcribing, these just naturally occur, right? So in this case, like, I'm picking two notes and I'm hammering, right? So that's very useful if you want to get the sound. Which is very different than alternate picking everything, right? When you're alternate picking everything, it's kind of like going, um, you know, like verbally, right? And think about it like horn players are used to not articulate every note because they're using their breath, right? So, so basically just two notes, one note hammer. Or reversing two notes, one note pull. Which I like referring always leaving one attack out. Another thing is that, let's say, I have something uh, like this. Having the ability to play something with a string skipping really helps me a lot because sometimes if I have something like... You see, I have two things here. First thing is I have a contrast of sound. You see this versus two notes per string with 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 hammering. So this is this would be very different than if I played it like this. Right? And also it will be more difficult for me to go I mean, I, I'll need to practice that, but it's different than... All of these decisions come from how I want my playing to sound on a, on, on a bigger kind of mindset of like the bigger picture. So I'm thinking about like the, the techniques that I choose is kind of like the articulation I put in the bigger picture in the painting that is my solo. And, and I try to incorporate those a lot, and I learned, uh, I guess I learned the, the type of contrast I'm looking for from listening to, to guitar players that I enjoy listening to, but also horn players. A lot of stuff came from horn players because they have this amazing world of articulation going on all of the time. So that's one thing. I also use sweeps and inner sweeps, like small sweeps, I guess, like... <laughs> So, so you know, I started with an upstroke, but then I went down, 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 up. You know, there's no way I would get that if I try to pick every note. It's very different. Right? Also for the momentum and again for the contrast of, of different stuff. Another thing I use is I use um, just my fingers, I guess hybrid. Just gives you a beautiful sound. So again, it's there for the contrast. And I, then I just mix everything together depending on how I want to express the thing I'm playing, right? So I can go with some hybrid and then just alternate pick two notes and then maybe pull and then play one note and pull and then go with a bunch of maybe sweeps and that can give me something like right and then maybe I can use my pick and, and a finger here you see and I get this nice sound and then maybe from there I can I can use one uh, like my pick and two fingers and then I'm getting this 
right? Mm -hmm. Kind of like playing a chord on a piano that all of the notes ring together. Right? So this is how I think. Um, now, you're invited to check out my website for more cool stuff. I have my Galactic Modern Guitar program. Um, also helps with the channel. And also, you're going to have a step-by-step -step system with me where I'm going to show you how to learn everything from the very fundamentals all the way to a lot more advanced stuff like melodic minor, diminished, bebop applications, etc., etc. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.